Coming up next, it's the UFC heavyweight division collision. Oh, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, the Ghost! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, DC, here we go with round one. Of course, a few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because this Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at leaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Blocks the strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big knee lands right through the bonus midsection. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. He blocks the punch. Oh, big elbow. These guys throwing early. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses there with the left. Nice punch lands over the top. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Pretty good right hand. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Just over three minutes to go. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go here. All right, single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. 
All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, collar tie. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Missed with that right hand. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Again, back into this position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch to the clinch. Beautiful, straight counter. Just out of the range with that right hand. Missed with that attempt. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh! Punch coming. It's blocked. Jab hurt him a little bit. Back and forth we go. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. And if you like Muay Thai, you like knee strikes, that was the round for you. Yeah, that was a great round. You can see how well-versed he is in using all weapons that are available to him. He hits elbows, he uses punches, kicks, but his knees have improved to the point that he can dictate and control the round by using just those. Strong defects there to block the shot. Nice instincts. might have landed there. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mix it up. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. And he landed the right hand there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Switch out, take down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking on bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. 
And this might just be a matter of time. submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon so there he is your winner by submission that is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Brian Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission,